Hello everybody, I'm Ludwig Fruit, and in this video I'm going to show you every single Tover token that you're going to need to unlock every single customization for the new Snap skin, which is basically the customizable skin for the season. It's called Snap, and you can acquire it from the Battle Pass from the page one. Make sure to buy this. It costs nine uh, Battle Stars, I believe. So just buy this, and that will unlock this right here, the quest log for you. So this banner will uh, will show up and you will have all of these quests right here. As you can see, each quest is going to give you a certain customization. Every single one of them is about finding Tover tokens. Like uh, each quest, you're going to have to find three Tover tokens in a certain location. And that's what this, this video is about. Uh, like all the Tover tokens will be, uh, um, they will be like organized. There will be timestamps. So just follow the timestamps and go to whichever one that you want to unlock. And you'll be able to unlock it. And of course, finally, uh, eventually you'll be able to make a very, very, very dope looking uh, like a skin. Look at this, man. That is absolutely beautiful, dude. So yeah, this will take a while to make. Like this is going to take like a few weeks to make. So I really hope you guys show the video some love and drop a comment, like it, share it on social media if you can. It would really, really help a lot. And yeah, without further ado, here are all the Tober token locations in Fortnite Chapter 3, Season 3. For this snap quest, it says you have to find Tober tokens in Rave Cave. So just make your way to this PUI right here, the giant like uh, theme park on top of the mountain. And basically, you're just going to go inside the head. And there should be a bowler there that we're going to take. And with that bowler, we're going to collect all three uh, of, the, uh, uh, of the tokens. All right, here we are. Just going to go inside. Here we are, and huh. there we go. And then I'm gonna make our way over here. And the first one is gonna be right here. And then we just follow the trail right here. Just keep following the trail. To slow down a little bit. So the second one is right over here, as you can see, right underneath the airplane. Nice. We go inside. And token number three is gonna be right over here at the end. And yeah, that's uh that's basically it. That's all three of them. Let's check if we got the uh, if we got the style. Alright, here we are. So this is what you can what you get for collecting the tokens at uh Rave Cave, the Pimento head. Very dope. I like this. Looks a lot like a Digimon head, right? <laughs> it's very nice. For this snap quest, it says you have to find tower tokens in 7 outpost number 7. So that's basically this location right here. So just make your way to the spot and you'll find the tower tokens. So the first one is going to be like next to the rifts. So we're going to grab this one. That's one. Let me remove the ping. Number two is going to be right like uh, uh, next to the water. Here we are. It's going to be like on top of the pier. That's number two. And number three is going to be all the way on the other side. So just make your way over there. And as you can see, there it is. It's at the front entrance. And that's number three. Come on. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. Let's see if we got uh, the reward. There we go, dude. Beautiful. Beautiful style. Snap. Uh, utility. So that's the uh, the arms. Very cool. For this snap quest, it's just have to collect tower tokens at Kondo Canyon. So just make your way to Kondo Canyon right over here. And I highly recommend like starting with the rooftop of uh, that building over there, this building right here. Let me just ping it. So right here. So that's where you're gonna find the first um, tower token. And we're gonna start from there and work our way to the third location. So as you can see, it's right there, right next to the umbrella, right underneath me. So let's grab that. So this is tower token number one. Let me actually grab a weapon just in case. All right, Tover token number two is going to be right next to it, right in this uh, pawn shop. So this is Tover token number two. And Tover token number three is going to be all the way over here. So just go here and take a right and you will find it in this like restaurant thingy. And come on, let's grab that. Yep, there it is. That's three out of three. Let's see if we got the, um, uh, the uh, style. There we go. We got the head raw power. <laughs> Yo, it's a sushi. <laughs> it's a piece of sushi as a head. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's the style unlocked. Nice. For this snap quest, it says you have to collect Tover tokens at uh, Shifty Shafts. So this is Shifty Shafts right here. And you're going to want to start your Tover token hunt right over here. Right like behind it. So there should be some rails over there that we can use. Or some tracks. 
And here we are. Yep, there we go. So, this is where you're going to start. That's the first location, as you can see. So, this is location number one. This is over token number one. Got that. And then you want to go through the, the, the tracks, like through the cave. Come on. And then you take a right. And then you take another right. And you will find the second one, as you can see. Awesome. And then you're going to want to go up. All the way up. And oh, and there it is. That's the third one. Let's grab that. There it is. Three out of three. Let's see if we got the style. Very cool. We got the head mato, the tomato head, basically. Very beautiful. For this snap quest, it says you have to collect uh, tokens at the Quisi uh, Grove PUI. So just make your way to this PUI right here. You're gonna want to start right over here. Uh, basically, these tokens are gonna be all or, all about like parkour because they're not gonna be like easily reachable. Of course, you can play in uh, build mode and you can just build to them. But in case you're playing in zero build mode, zero build mode, just like I am, you're gonna have to like uh, like climb on top of the uh, on top of the mushrooms. So the first one is gonna be right on my ping, as you can see right here. There it is. So that's number one. So this is the exact location. And they're gonna we'll make our way to the uh, next mushroom. I already see somebody. All right. So we're gonna make our way to this mushroom right here. Come on, dude. stop, stop, dude. Come on, be cool. And hop. And hop. There we go. And this is the second one right here. Nice. And then, of course, we're gonna make our way to those mushrooms over there. Over there. Be cool, be cool, be cool. Please, please. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting away with this. <laughs> and this is it. This is the third one, as you can see. And there it is. That's all three of them. Let's see if we got the style. There it is. We got the legs camo. Look at that, man. Look at this beauty. This is some, some thick legs. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. For this snap quest, you essentially have to collect over tokens at reality real. So just make your way to this spot right here. This is reality, not real, reality falls, sorry. <laughs> so just make your way to the giant tree. And basically the uh, Tover tokens are gonna be around the tree. Two of them are gonna be around the tree. The other one is gonna be hidden. So just make your way right here. And at the base of the tree, you're gonna see like this like branch that you can like, uh, like move along or run along. So this is the branch right here. So this is the first uh, Tover token. Let me grab this actually. Oh man, I got to get a bad weapon. I need something to spray with. Alright, here we are. Then you're just gonna uh, run through the branch. Like, run around it. And as you climb up, you're gonna find the um, second one. Right at the entrance, as you can see. Then you're gonna do this. And you're gonna wanna go to the, um, to the waterfall. Which I kind of like lost where it was. Because I'm on top of the... Ah, there it is right there. So what I did there, I jumped on top of the like blue mushroom. And it literally like gives you a uh, gliding time in the air. And then you just go to this waterfall right here as you can see. And we're going to go through it, believe it or not. <laughs> so just go through the waterfall. And you're going to find the third and final one right here at the bottom. And yeah, that's all three of them. Let's see if we get the styles. There we go, we got the Snap Classic Red. Very dope. Very, very dope. For this Snap quest, it says you have to collect over tokens at the Sanctuary. So just make your way to the Sanctuary right here. So this is the PUI. You're going to want to start right over here. Um, the tokens are really, really spread out. So uh, be careful not to get shot while you're collecting them. So the first one is going to be right next to the Bounty Board. So there should be a Bounty Board right here. Let me grab a weapon because like I said, people are not friendly at all. <laughs> So there's the bounty board right there. And this is the first uh, token, as you can see. Let's grab that. Let me activate this and let's shield up. The second token is going to be right in the middle. All right, here we go. 
So just make your way to the middle of the PUI. And you'll find the second token right between these rocks right here. There we go. That's two out of three. And then you're going to want to make your way all the way to the back of the, um, of the PUI. Okay, let me just auto walk this. Just make your way to this spot right around here. And you'll find it right between uh, these like uh, plant thingies. So there we go. Here we are. And that's three out of three. Nice. Easy as that. So let's see if we got the style. There we go. We got the Tekka Snap Head. Yo. That is a sick looking head, dude. Look at that, man. Very dope. Very edgy. For this snap quest, essentially you have to collect um, tower tokens and the ruins. So if in case you don't know, these are the ruins right here. This is the PY, it's called the ruins. So just make your way over there. And we'll find ourselves the three um, tower tokens. They're pretty easy to find in this PY because it's a very small PY. So the tower tokens are very, very apparent. The first one is going to be literally in the middle. So there we go, it's right underneath us. Let me grab a weapon first. So this is tower token number one. Tower token number two is gonna be all the way over here. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, man. I had to kill you. I don't trust you. <laughs> so this is tower token number two, as you can see. And tower token number three is gonna be all the way on the other side. There it is, right here. So it's gonna be next to the water. So this is the this is third this is the third one, this is the second one, and this is the first one. And you can just collect them as easy as that. So let's see if we got the new uh head style. Very nice. We got the sergeant brush head. <laughs> so it's really a huge brush with missing like uh hairs, I guess. I don't know what you call these. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not I'm not too mad at that. Very dope, very nice design. For this snap quest, it's such a job to collect uh tower tokens at little shafty. And in case you don't know, Lil Shafty is this PUI right over here, right east, uh, west of Sna Snap Station. So just make your way to this spot. There's a little like cave entrance right underneath this thing, like this like rock formation. And that's where we're gonna go. So as you can see, there's a little pond right here right off the Snap Station. And there's the cave that we're gonna go to. Here we are. So that's the first uh, token right there. And hop, that's pretty cool. <laughs> then you take a left and then you take a right. And you will find the second one right here. Pretty awesome. Actually, let me let me go back here. Because we want to go underneath. So I'm going to grab this because I saw somebody here. And I really don't want to deal with them. So we just jump off. And there's the uh, third one. And here we are. Very awesome. Just so you don't get confused, just make your way to this exact spot and you'll find it. Alright, so let's see if we got the head style. Nice, we got the popped off head. Look at that, dude. Very, very nice. You got the lead, lead eyes. <laughs> it's very creepy and I like it. We even have some numbers like uh, 0410. Very beautiful, dude. Very, very, very beautiful. For this snap quest, it's a shot to collect tower tokens at Rocky Wheels. So just make your way to Rocky Wheels right here. And we're going to collect our tower tokens. They're pretty easy to find, like relatively. So the first one is going to be right over here, right next to the bouncy board. Let me actually grab this weapon. In case somebody like pops up. So here we go. That's number one. Let's activate the bouncy. Always do that. Always activate like random bounties just to get the extra XP from it. And the extra gold, of course. So the second one is going to be at this playground right here. Nice. And the third one is going to be at the main building right over here. Like, hey, this is cool. Alright, here we are. And that's number three. Nice. Let's see if you got the style. Alright, here we are. So we got the Tenta Classic Pants style. I don't know what to call this, man. It's literally some octopus uh, tentacles. <laughs> that is very dope. I like this. I like this. I think this one, this one is my favorite, or one of my favorites. I will at least have like one hand looking like this. Very nice. 
For this snap quest, it says you have to collect uh, Tower Tokens at the Jonas's. So just make your way to the Jonas's POI. You're going to want to start over here for the first token. Now, for some reason, a lot of people land at the Jonas's. I have no idea why. Like, it's the same POI. There is nothing new. But people love to land here and they highly contest you and they highly, like, troll you. <laughs> so you got to be really, really careful. So this is, like, on my first thing, you're going to find the first token. And then I highly recommend that you grab any weapon that you can find. You're going to need to trust me. And then you want to go to the RV over there. So there's the RV. And you'll find the second token over there. Nice. Actually, I'm going to take this. It's going to be very useful. And then, of course, we're going to make our way all the way across the PUI. To find the third and final one. There it is. That's three out of three. Okay, we got some gold. <laughs> All right, let's exit and see if we got the uh, the new style, the new hand style. Yeah, it is. It's the Mech Basher. Yo, that is a very dope hand. <laughs> that is like a lot like the giant like robot, the giant mech. Very nice. I like that a lot. For this snap quest, it says you have to collect uh, tower tokens at Sleepy Sound. So make your way to Sleepy Sound right here. And I highly recommend starting right on this spot because that's where you're going to find the first um, token. So let's go over there. The tokens are going to be like really, really spread out. So you're going to have to uh, walk around the entire POI. But this is the best route in my opinion. So here we are. It's going to be right in front of this shop. So there it is. So that's number one. And then you're going to want to make your way all the way over here. And there's a fish stick uh, cabin right here. Fish oh, good. Oh my god, he's hitting me with the DMR. Alright. So this is number two right here. Alright, and then we're just going to sw swim across the pond. And we're going to find... Oh my god, dude. Alright, so this is number three. These guys are relentless, man. Okay, that's three out of three completed. Let's see if we got the style. There it is. We got the trash, uh, the trash blasters. Alright, alright. Not my favorite, to be honest, but it's pretty, pretty awesome. I can see why uh, some people would like this. Very cool. For this snap quest, it says you have to collect over tokens at uh, log jump number yard. So just make your way right here. And you're going to find the first one right at the pier. So we go right there. I highly recommend starting from the pier because uh, like uh, like this route is the best one in my opinion. Alright, here we are. So that's the pier right there, right next to the boat. And you'll find the first one right there, as you can see. Very cool. So that's number one. Let me actually grab a weapon. You don't want to run without a weapon. And then you're going to make your way to the, um, um, to the reboot van. Alright, we want that. So the second one is going to be right next to the reboot van, as you can see. And I'm lagging a bit. Okay, so that's number two. And number three is going to be all the way over here. Right behind this pile of... Um, this pile of... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Wood, I guess. <laughs> And there it is, that's number three. That's three out of three. Alright, let's see if we got the style. Here we go. We have the Skelly Snap. Oh, so it's bone. It's like a bone fragment. That is cool. That is really, really cool. I, I really hope they make uh, they give us like some styles for the, like similar to this for the torso and the legs. That would make like for a very dope uh, dope like uh, style. It would look like Brook from One Piece. <laughs> I like that. So yeah, that's it. So this is going to be the second part of the snap quest. So basically the first part is going to be all about like uh, collecting tower tokens. Assuming that you have already completed that, you collected all the tower tokens and you got most of these like uh, most of these cosmetics right here. So if you go to the snap, you probably stopped right around here. Uh, after that, the snap cosmetics are going to be all about weekly quests, believe, believe it or not. So you're going to have to complete the weekly seasonal quests from week one all the way to week nine. It's going to extend all the way to week nine. So as you can see, every week is going to have like a, a different cosmetic that you can unlock. This one unlocks in 57 days. This one is 50 days. As you can see, there's a difference of seven days between each time. 
so that's like every week so these are the weekly quests right here and uh, as you can see i already like uh, i already like completed some of them and i already got like some of the cool like cosmetics that you will be unlocking as well um as as proof i'm just going to show you right here so if you go to snap so this one it says complete weekly quest right here you need to complete 45 of them the next ones are going to be uh, all about week five quests and so on and so forth so starting now it's going to be all about the weekly quest they will be organized time stamped uh, just like the tober tokens so just follow them if you have like a missing uh, weekly quest that you haven't done just go to the timestamp click it and complete it and it'll give you of course once you complete a certain amount of weekly quests you will get the next step or the next uh, style for the uh, for the snap skin and yeah that's uh, basically it here we go without further ado here are all the weekly quests for fortnite chapter 3 season 3 for this week one seasonal quest since you have to collect three reality seeds which is very simple to do all you have to do is just go to reality falls right around this area and you're gonna find these like blue purplish blobs that look like plants and basically you just have to destroy those so there's one on top of that branch over there and there's one right underneath me so i'm just gonna stay here because that spot is very contested as you can see a lot of people land there so you just have to find one of these look at this so this is what it looks like you cannot interact with it you just have to destroy it so just gonna do that and once you destroy it you get low gravity and these reality seeds pop out so let's grab one you need three of these and gladly uh, not gladly uh, luckily um, like each plant gives you three so collect that one let's grab a weapon actually because i have a bad feeling oh we got a pistol <laughs> so where's the third reality seed ah there it is right there so there it is just by collecting three you complete the quest this is what they look like just in case you're a little bit confused because i i understand that i was a bit confused at the, at the start as well so this is it this is what they, they look like just collect three and that should complete the quest it's very simple for this week one seasonal quest is that you have to deal 200 damage to an opponent with a dmr so in case you don't know these are the dmr weapons right here it's basically a sniper rifle that uses uh light ammo and basically you just grab this you find yourself a uh, like an opponent so let's spawn an opponent here and then you just deal damage to them Ooh. wait buddy <laughs> where, where did he go okay okay there we go all right and there it is so the dmr does a lot of damage especially for headshots uh so 200 uh like 200 damage shouldn't be too much or if you're like uh it shouldn't be like too hard to do especially if you do it in team round mode just find yourself one of these maybe upgrade them in an upgrade bench and just deal 200 damage to any opponent and that should copy the quest it's very simple for this week one seasonal quest is that you have to mod a whiplash with a cow catcher and some tires and then you need to destroy 50 structures with that modded vehicle so basically the best and the only way to do this is basically chonker speedway just make your way here because of a very simple reason and that is this npc right here the NPC is called Stashed. Actually, let me let me grab this shotgun. So this is the NPC right here, and he's got everything that we need. So you can buy the cow catcher for 100 gold, and you can buy the vehicle mod off-road tires for 50 gold. It's very, very cheap. All right. And then you make your way to the middle of the PUI, and you will find the uh, parked the parked uh, whiplashes. And for the tire, you just need to do this. Just shoot the tire, and then equip your own tire. And then equip the cow catcher so that's a complete vehicle that they need and then you just use this vehicle to destroy the structures all around and yeah, that's the basic idea of course if uh, this doesn't work just find yourself another like cow, uh, another um, whiplash they are available all around the map come on oh i need some momentum <laughs> all right here we go and yeah that's basically they just need to destroy 50 uh, structures there's another tire right there just destroy 50 structures with this vehicle and that should copy the quest. It's very, very easy to do. For this week, one seasonal quest, since you have to dance at uh, uh, different IO airships. So basically, just uh, go to uh, all the IO airship uh, locations. Just need to go to three of them. There's five uh, like in the, on the map right now. The first location is going to be right over here, east of the map itself. So just go in the water. As you can see, we got ourselves an airship that has been uh, rebate into a colorful like pink. And it just, you know, land here and emote. It's very, very simple to do. So I'm just going to land here. And I'm just going to do a random emote. So this is location number one. Location number two is going to be uh, pretty much next to it. It's going to be right behind Coney Crossroads. So this is Coney Crossroads. And this is the downed airship, as you can see. So I'm just going to, uh, like, float there and uh, emote, as usual. There we are. And oops, so as you can see, these are the remains of the Ayush go 
And we're just going, going to do a different emote now. There we go. So that's location number two. Location number three is going to be southwest of the map. So uh, not southwest, southeast of the map. So just go right here. And you'll find the third uh, downed airship or IO airship. So here we go. We're just going to land on top. And we're going to emote. So let's do this emote right here. There we go. So basically, uh, these are three locations. There's five, like I said. So in case one of these uh, doesn't work, who knows? Uh, there's two more that you can visit. There's uh, this one right here. There should be an IO airship right around this area. I don't know why it doesn't show on the map. And then, of course, there is the IO airship right over here that you can go to. So uh, just try any of those five. Uh, I highly recommend the ones that I told you about, these three right here. And yeah, that's basically it. Just emote at uh, three locations and that should complete the quest. Very simple. For this week one seasonal quest, it says you have to gain shields by bouncing on top of bouncing uh, uh, shield mushrooms, which are these new like blue mushrooms that you can see everywhere. It's not like the big ones. It's actually a very specific type of mushroom. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is what I'm talking about right here. This is the mushroom. They're called slurp mushrooms, I believe. Yeah. So as you can see, they glow right now. And when you jump on top of them once, you will gain 12 shields and the glow will disappear not 12 15 shields apparently so basically now i cannot gain shields anymore it just bounces and you need to do this 10 times so this one does not work anymore so that's one and then you just have to walk around and find yourself more uh slurp mushrooms so for example there's this one right here so if i jump on top of this one i'll gain more shield and it's gonna like stop glowing if i jump on this one as well it's gonna do the same so you need to find exactly 10 of these and the best location to find them is all around reality reels so this is not real why do i keep calling it reality reels it's reality falls <laughs> so basically this is reality falls and you, you can just walk around this entire area and you'll find yourself those like blue washrooms and yeah just find 10 jump on top of them and that should complete the quest it's very simple for this week one seasonal quest is that you have to search five chests at tilted towers or condo canyon so this is like one of the easiest quests to do Basically, just go to uh, any one of these PUIs and find yourself five chests. This is very, very easy. So, as you can see, this is the chest right here. And this is Tilted Towers. And this is Condo Canyon right over here. So, you can just go any, uh, like, you can go to any of these PUIs and just find yourself five. So, that, that's one. I'm just going to go to any random building. And there should be more, of course. I can hear one here. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, you have the entire PUI at your hand. Just go around, find yourself some chests. Just uh, like open five and that should copy the quest. It's very simple. For this week, one seasonal quest is that you have to visit the zero point in a motorboat. So in case you guys do not know, like we saw this from the trailer, but the zero point is currently at the center of Loot Lake. So it should be right around here. So it should be glowing. There it is right there. So I can already see it. So if you look down, so right when I'm standing right here, there's a zero point right underneath us. It's going to be right over here. So this is the exact thing of the zero point. And all you have to do is just go to that spot and find yourself a boat. Gladly, this place uh, has a lot of boats. So we're just going to grab this boat right here. And we're just going to visit that pink. And there it is. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So the zero point is right underneath us. And if you want to be cool about it, you can just use this ramp just like in the, in the trailer. So this is what we saw on the trailer. And you just do this. And ta-da! <laughs> so yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that. And you would have completed the quest. For this week 2 seasonal quest, it says you have to headshot opponents with the two-shot uh, sh shotgun, which is this right here. So this is a two-shot shotgun, as you can see. And you just need to find somebody to headshot with. So I already see somebody going around for the... Uh, I think he's collecting like the, uh, the saplings. So we're going to try to uh, <laughs> surprise them. Ooh. I see him, he's up there. And we're just gonna aim for the head. There we go. There it is. Whew. All right, so that's the basic idea. Just make sure to aim for the head. When you get some headshot damage, uh, the damage indicator will be uh, colored orange. So make sure you get that. And yeah, you just need to do this five times, I believe. And that should complete the quest, very easy.
For this week 2 seasonal quest, it says you have to pick weeds around reality saplings. So basically, weeds are gonna be around these reality saplings right here, this little icon. So we're gonna find most of these reality saplings around reality falls. So just make your way to this PUI right here, and you will find these like shiny uh, bluish purplish trees, uh, around which you're gonna have like some fruits and some uh, like uh, shield mushrooms. And of course, we're gonna have to find the, um, uh, the uh, weeds around them. <laughs> I forgot the name. So here we are. All right, let us check them out. You're going to have to look a little bit uh, because not all of them have weeds around them. Let me just check here if there's... Yep, there it is. Okay, we found one with weeds. So this is what it, what it looks like. As you can see, it says pick weed. So we're just going to pick it. And you can pick this one. And when you pick this one, the fruits will literally like uh, grow instantly, as you can see right here. So this is the effect that it has. And yeah, that's the basic idea. You need to do this uh, five times. So you need to find five uh, weeds. So yeah, just keep going around the uh, the area until you find like one of these like saplings that has weeds, weeds around it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Just pick the weeds and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week 2 seasonal quest, it says you have to launch into the air using geysers. So basically, geysers are uh, all around this area of the map, the reality falls. So basically, you're going to find them like all around this area here. There's a certain geyser uh, right here, right at the entrance. So I think it should be here. Yeah, there it is. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to ping it like the exact location on the map so just so you can find it. So this is what the uh, geyser looks like. So let me just ping it. It's right here. And yep, <laughs> it already took me up. So I guess you can use like the same geyser uh, three times. It doesn't say like you have to use different geysers. So here we are. Just going to step on it again and it should send us up again. All right, come on. There we go. And yeah, like I said, these geysers exist all around this area. So if I uh, float around, I should be able to see another one. All right, here we are. So these are the other geysers, as you can see. Like I said, there are uh, at least three more in this like little ravine thingy. Whoa, there's four of them. So this is the best spot to do it. So it's going to be right here. So you can make your way to this spot. And you can find yourself these, all of these geysers right here. There's one, two, three, seven geysers. Damn. So you can just keep using these until the quest is completed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. For this week 2 seasonal quest, it says you have to swing 50 meters or more with the grapple glove without touching the ground. So this is the grapple glove, as you can see right here. And it spawns inside of these like grapple stops, as you can see. So this is where you can find a grapple stop. So this is one of the locations right here. I will leave a link right here in the top right corner where you can find the other locations. There's 10 of them all around the map. Uh, off the top of my head, there's a location uh, right here. Uh, <clears throat> it's gonna be right on top of this hill uh, let me remember where the other locations are oh there's one right here next to shifty shafts I remember that one it's gonna be right over here so that's three locations for you just so in case you don't find it here uh, basically they're gonna be inside these like toolboxes uh, there's another toolbox here and it has a random spawn rate for it so there it is that's the grapple glove as you can see you cannot hold two you can only hold one per, ta per, uh, per time and then you just you know swing just like the spider-man web shooters and make sure you do this on like these really really tall trees so you can get like the 50 meters and you can even keep doing it like on the same tree like it, it works just the same and yeah just make sure to swing like 50 meters uh, i think you have to do this 10 times so just do it 10 times just like this <laughs> oh man this is really fun and that should copy the quest very very easy for this week two seasonal quests it says you have to enter uh, the wind tunnel in the baller at the screw baller so basically just make your way to a uh, rave cave right here and these are the wind tunnels as you can see right here so this is like the entire wind tunnel it goes all around this pui and we're basically just going to come here and grab ourselves a baller uh i believe there's one right here yeah right over there we're gonna have to <laughs> walk through this i find this like really really weird when i do this like i i really think you should be falling like for me but you don't see even like if i if i walk like right here i, I don't fall which is pretty uh counterintuitive i guess so these are the ballers as you can see right here there's two of them here there's a bunch of them all around the area there's one uh there's at least three i think on top like if you go on top where the um, where the giant head is uh so basically we're just gonna take this we're gonna do this here and we're gonna go inside come on we're just gonna go inside the wind tunnel in a baller and yeah that's the basic idea as you can see you know just uh, uh jump inside with the baller and that should be the quest very simple for this week two seasonal quests, search you have to eliminate two opponents with ranged weapons of epic rarity or higher. So it cannot be uh, like it cannot be rare, it cannot be uncommon, and it cannot be common. So as you can see, this one is common, this one is rare, these will not work, and it has to be a ranged weapon. So it has to be either a DMR, just like this weapon, but it has to be like epic or higher, 
or like a heavy uh, assault, uh, not a heavy, uh, a heavy sniper rifle. So as you can see, this one is epic, and this one is legendary. So you can find something like this, and then you just need to eliminate two players, which is not really that easy to do with these weapons, except with the DMR. Maybe the DMR is better. And I highly recommend doing this in um, uh, either team rumble mode or uh, like no build mode. You can just camp a bush, and then we're just gonna wait for them until they stand still. There we go. So that's one elimination. <laughs> we're gonna just reload and let's spawn another enemy. Oh, missed. There we go. So yeah, that's it. Just get to eliminations with these kind of weapons and that should be the quest. Very easy. For this week two seasonal quests, it says you have to boost into a runway boulder with a baller and dislodge it. So basically, let me just exit the wind tunnel right here. Alright, so basically you need to find a way, a, uh, find yourself a baller. So this is a baller right here. There's a lot of them all over the Wraith Cave. So you can find a lot of them like on top. Uh, you can find two of them here. So just find yourself one. And then you're simply going to take it. And then you're going to go and find yourself one of these um, uh, runaway boulders. So this is a runaway boulder. It's basically a giant uh, sphere rock, spherical rock. That you can actually like do this. Like you can attach yourself to it. And then you can boost into it to dislodge it. I, I kind of failed at that right now. Let's try it again. And <laughs> oh come on, the plants are getting in the way. And uh, there we go. So there it is. <laughs> so this is what they want you to do. Basically just do that. And just, you know, make the make the um, uh, the rock move or the runaway boulder move. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that. And that should be the quest. It's very easy. Uh, actually, uh, let me just ping you the location of this boulder. Just so you find it. Maybe it's like easier for you. Just make your way here. So start a rape cave. Get the boulder. Come here. You'll find the runaway boulder. Use this, uh, uh, like, do, do exactly what I did. And dislodge it. And that should be the quest. For this week three seasonal quest, uh, it says that you have to impulse an enemy player with a shockwave grenade. So you need to find these shockwave grenades right here. They're very, very common to find. Just open any random chest in any POIs and you'll find them. Once you do, go ahead and find yourself an opponent. So let's uh, create our opponent right here. And we just need to shockwave them. So that means we throw the shockwave next to them. Like that. And as you can see, it shockwaves them away. And yeah, that's the basic idea. It's very easy to do. Then you can just kill them if you want. You don't really need to. And yeah, that's it. Just shock wave them with a shock grenade and that should be the quest. Very simple. For this week 3 seasonal quest, it says you have to dislodge uh, or destroy a runaway boulder with a melee weapon. So a melee weapon is your pickaxe basically. And you just want to find one of these like boulders sitting on uh, like tiny rocks. So these are the runaway boulders. And uh, this is the location for this one right here. If you want to like come and do it through this one. And basically we're going to dislodge it by hitting it. I think you hit it like three times. So as you can see it is dislodged. So that's one out of three. You need to do this like three times. So you can just dislodge one and then destroy it with your pickaxe. It's going to take a while of course. <laughs> come on stop. Stop rolling. Dude. So this is not like the easiest thing to do. Or maybe you can just you know keep dislodging them. So there's this one right here. I really love this spot because there's uh, at least like three of them. So this is the second one. Let me just ping the second location just so you know where it is. So as you can see, they are very, very close to each other. So that's the second uh, runway boulder. Very easy to do. And then we simply go right over here. Actually, let me let me respawn just to show you. Um, I'm, I'm in uh, battle lab mode. So just to show you where the other one is, I'm just going to respawn. Just so I don't like run the entire, <laughs> the entire like uh, way. Come on. Let's go west, so right where we were. So I'm gonna show you the third location of the third boulder. So this is where we were right here, right like in front of me. And we're gonna go right over here, so to this hill. As you can already see it, so there's the boulder right there, right next to the geysers, like the series of geysers next to each other. And this is like boulder number number three and number four, as you can see. And we're gonna do the same, we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna do this. Actually, I highly recommend starting here. So just dislodge these two. And then you can just simply go to the third one right there. This is the better spot. Because there's three of them. As you can see right here. This is the third one. Let's stay in this board. Just so it doesn't attack us. Come on, dude. Okay. <laughs> doesn't matter. So this is the third one right here. Yeah, it's very, very easy to do. Just do that. And that should be the best. Also, um, sorry. Uh, this is the exact location right here. So that's where you can find three boulders, and this is where you can find the other two. And yeah, that's it. Just do that, and that's it. Beautiful.
For this week's three seasonal quest, essentially you have to damage an opponent within 30 seconds of leaving the water. So basically just go to any body of water. Right now I'm uh, right around here. You can do this anywhere. I highly recommend doing it in Loot Lake because a lot of people will be crossing Loot Lake from all the corners so you can easily find opponents. And you simply just go in the water. And once you exit the water, you have like 30 seconds to damage the enemy. I believe you need to do 75 damage, which is very easy. So we're just going to spawn an enemy here. And we're going to exit the water. And from this point, we have 30 seconds to damage them and deal our um, deal our 75 damage. So yeah, it's, that's just, uh, like the basic idea. Let's do that again, just uh, for uh, clarity's sake. Just spawn it, then exit, and then let's deal damage. Very easy. Just do that, and that should complete the quest. For this quest, it says you have to reach max shields in a temple. So basically, there are three temples in the game right now. This is a map of all the landmarks. Uh, there's the um, Tumble Down Temple right over here, right behind, uh, like, south of the Sanctuary. There's Tiny Temple, south of the Daily Bugle, and there's the Temple, north of the Daily Bugle. So this should work in at any of these, like, uh, POIs. Uh, personally, I would go to the Temple right here and go grab some, uh, some shields. So here we are. So this is the Temple that we're going to go to right now. So as you can see, this is it right here, right next to the uh, Daily Bugle. The tiny temple is going to be right over here, and the other temple is going to be right around here. So that's Tumble Down Temple all the way over there where the sanctuary is. So we're just going to go to this one. And it's very, very easy to do this quest. You just need to, you just need to reach max shields, which means that you need to uh, find two uh, big pots or one uh, big pot and two minis, which is very easy, like I said. So let's see. There's a lot of chests in this POI. Ooh, I'm going to need this for later. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Nope. We got nothing there. This is like one of the most like populated areas, in my opinion. So I highly recommend that you check, you check this out. And sadly, we're getting really unlucky with the <laughs> with the chest spawn. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Okay, this should work. Just need more of this stuff. Let's see another one here. Okay, we got the minis. We're so close. We just need one more. One more shield item. That should get us to max shield. Nope, that's not what I, what we need. Let's go inside. Oh, this will this will do. Okay, so with all of this, we have the exact uh, amount of shields that we need. So that's 25 plus 25 plus 20 plus 20. And then, of course, this one is plus 10. And, oh, and there it is that's max shield as you can see so the slurp keg is going to be right in the middle of the uh, poi right in the middle right here underneath in, in case like you need it and then that's the basic idea just reach max shield in one of these temples and that should be the quest very easy for this week three seasonal quests it says you have to jump off of a diving board so basically there are these like weird little diving boards in the desert area in fortnite chapter 3 season 3 um just go right here to this like area formation like rock formation right over here so just go there and if you land on top you will find a diving board right on top of it as you can see there's a bunch of them like all around if you go like looking around you should buy find at least two more so this is what the diving board looks like so let me just um take a screenshot of that because i think a lot of people are going to be wondering where to find these and you need to do this like three times as you can see as soon as you step onto it it just pushes you up i didn't even like jump and uh, the problem is this is not like accessible in uh, like zero build mode like you have no way of getting up there so i recommend doing this in um, build mode so you can just build up again and you just try again and again and again so like i said you need to do this three times so let's do that oh, i'm gonna do it at the same spot and yeah <laughs> that's the basic idea just do that and that should go with the quest it's very easy for this week's three seasonal quests, it says you have to headbutt an opponent while riding a boar. So as you can see, these are the boars right here. Uh, you can find them randomly, uh, to be honest. These ones I found right here, right behind the Daily Bugle. Just I just got lucky. Uh, but basically, like these wild animals, you can find them anywhere. Ba I, I like generally find them in reality falls, like around them, around reality falls. I find them like on these like hills around Tilda Towers. And I also find them uh, like between Sleepy Sound and uh, Log Jam Lotus. Uh, this is like the general locations where I find these animals. Uh, like I said, it's uh, completely random. But once you uh, find one, you just need to ride it. And to ride a uh, boar, you just need to jump on top of their back. Even as they attack you. And they are instantly uh, like tamed, as you can see. You can just uh, like, uh, like jump off and you can just ride them again. And then you simply need to uh, dash or headbutt an opponent. Which means that you need to use 
the command uh, to my left it says left shift charge as you can see so uh, at some point maybe that um, that command is unbound for you so you need to go to settings and go to animal riding and then you just need to uh, bind it to a key bind on your keyboard so me i'll bind it uh, to left shift and then you just need to find yourself an opponent so let's spawn an opponent right here and we're gonna headbutt them with the with the board which is very funny like as far as quests go it's very very funny so we're gonna do this and we're gonna headbutt them okay let me, let me reset this. Oh, oh damn that is a really really smart npc oh there it is yes, but again come on buddy no my boar <laughs> so yeah that's the basic idea it's not easy to do as you saw like they can really shoot you really really fast and they can even kill your boar so this is not like the easiest quest to be honest it's the most fun quest in my opinion but it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination so maybe I, I highly recommend like doing it in zero build, build mode because you get like this the 50 extra shield and people cannot build so you can just uh, do it over and over again. So as you can see, even if you lose the boar, you can just find another boar, jump on top of them, spawn an enemy, and do this to them. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's the basic idea. Let's do that. And that should complete the quest. Very simple. Good job, buddy. For this week's three seasonal quests, is that you have to get three seconds of airtime in a vehicle. Now, normally I would recommend going uh, right here, back to... Um, rocky wheels or to Chunk chunker speedway to grab like a vehicle from there but for this season i recommend coming here so just come to this gas station right here there's always a vehicle or like uh, the battle bus uh should be right right, right around this gas station so we will go, what you want to do uh, what you want to do is take this vehicle right here so actually let me ping the location for the vehicle just so you know where it is so that's it right there right next to reality falls so then you're gonna like take a left ignore reality falls you're gonna take a left you're gonna come here to this geyser and it's gonna send you up with the car and that should give you like the three seconds that you need ah, let me just get on top of it okay let's wait <laughs> this is kind of funny come on shoot me up there it is and there's your one two three seconds in the air and if it doesn't work you can just do it again and again and again it's very easy now in case for some reason or some reasons this does not work you can just go into like build mode and just you know just build yourself a ramp this is like the uh, traditional way to do it i guess and then you just grab that vehicle and just just jump off the ramp but in my opinion this is the uh, the easiest one to do you don't you don't even have to farm mats and nobody really can shoot you so we're just gonna jump off of it it's one two three four five seconds that's pretty awesome we even got even more seconds in the air and yeah that's the basic idea just do that and that should be the quest for this week four seasonal quests it says you have to mantle onto a ledge within three seconds of sliding so basically uh you mantle just by jumping next to a ledge and you will automatically just go up just make sure you hold space so as you can see right here if i hold space i can just go up and uh, you can uh, you can slide by running and then holding shift and control there it is right there so i'm just gonna run and then up slide and then after you slide you have three seconds to mantle so we're just gonna slide our way and huh. and from this point we have three seconds to mantle on top of a ledge it doesn't matter what, which ledge you use you can do this like literally anywhere i'm just using this spot as an example and yeah that's the basic idea it's very very simple to do just slide and then mantle and that should quit the quest very simple for this week four season quest says you have to deal damage to opponents while in a vehicle so the best way to do this is to land at a spot where there is a guaranteed vehicle so i highly recommend going to uh, rocky reels right here because it's a lot of vehicles or chunker speedway so we're just going to go to small chunker speedway just to show you how to do it you just want to go right here and in the middle as you can see you're going to have these uh like uh, uh upgraded cars and you just want to go inside and then use a weapon and you just go outside and shoot I don't know why it's not uh let me switch location oh there it is okay <laughs> i just had to see a switch passion put to the passenger seat so this is, this is the idea this is what you want to do just find yourself an opponent and just shoot him so let's spawn ourselves uh, an opponent right here and let's put them there go inside switch here And that's the basic idea. It's as simple as that. Just do that, and that should be the quest. For this week, four seasonal quests, it says you have to destroy structures with an E11 blaster rifle, which is the uh, new Star uh, Star Wars like um, uh, weapon. So basically, this weapon spawns in five locations. So each of those locations is gonna have these little like uh, these like domes thingies, and inside of them you're gonna find a uh, Star Wars chest. 
and if you open it you can find yourself the e11 blaster and as you can see uh, i chose this spot because there's a lot more like underneath here so as you can see it's the same thing just go inside and you'll find like the same chest there it is right there and there it is right there as you can see so let me just ping you the location uh, it's going to be right over here, right north of um, CP Sound and Logjam uh, Lotus, I suppose. So it's all the way on the north side of the map. Um, there's a lot of locations that you can go to. This is just the best one, in my opinion, uh, because you just need to, uh, to destroy 15 structures with this. So we just uh, go up, or you can just start with these. And that's the gist of it. <laughs> so just find yourself structures and just destroy them with the E11 uh, blaster rifle, and that should complete the quest. It's very easy. For this week 4 seasonal quest, it says you have to knock down 5 timber pines with the ripsaw launcher, which is a new weapon in Fortnite. Basically, to get the ripsaw launcher, you're gonna wanna go to north of Logjam Lotus, which is this spot right here. So there's gonna be a factory, as you can see right there. And inside of it, we're gonna find the ripsaw launchers. So here we go. And we're gonna show you like the exact location where you can find them. And then we're just gonna go to these like timber pines right here. Thankfully, they are all like near each other. So let's just go through here. Man, I really love the, uh, the Gara skin. It's so fun to play with. Alright, so we're just gonna take this door right here. And ta-da! As you can see right here. Let me just take a screenshot of that. Because that would help make the thumbnail. So I'm just gonna grab one. You can grab more, of course, if you think like 12 shots are not, uh, <laughs> are not enough. And then we're just gonna go outside. Here we go. And as you can see, these are the uh, uh, timber pines. And we're just gonna charge this up and shoot. Okay, so one shot is enough. Nice. Really awesome. And yeah, that's the basic idea. You just need to find yourself uh, five of those like trees. And I believe you can just you can just use this like long range. Yeah. And we'll use it on this one. There we go. And that is really really easy. And just for good measure, we're just gonna do the fifth one right here. So as you can see, it's a lot of timber pines all around. You can do this like uh, in the same spot. There it is. And yeah, that's that's, that's pretty easy. Just do that, and that should complete the quest. It's very simple. For this week four seasonal quest, this is you have to travel 500 meters in the slipstream around Wave Cave. So as you can see, this is Wave Cave right here. This is the PUI. And uh, if you look closely, you'll find a slipstream, which is this like wind tunnel that goes all around it. And you just want to go inside of it. It doesn't say anything about going inside of it with the baller. So I assume it works just by going inside of it like as a, as a, as a character, as a player. If this doesn't work, of course, you can just try the baller. But uh, logically, this should work. And yeah, just, you know, <laughs> you just press uh, W and you just keep like moving around. 500 meters is not that much. Uh, unless they change it and make 5,000 maybe. Because this seems really, really easy to do. And as you can see, we're just going around Rave Cave. You can just go back if you, if you feel like you've gone uh, uh, way too far from the POI. And yeah, just travel 500 meters in this victory, and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week, four seasonal quests, it says you have to plant a reality seed at uh, Sunflower Saplings or Fungi Farm. So in case you don't know, these are the uh, landmarks in all of like uh, in all of like uh, the map in this season, Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. If you want to take a screenshot of this, uh, feel free to do it because this will be very, very helpful for you in the future if you're doing like quests like this. So if you zoom in right here, you'll see that Fungi Farm is right over here, right next to Greasy Grove. So there it is right there. And the uh, Sunflower Saplings is right over here, right next to the Daily Bugle. So we're going to make our way to either of these PYs. But first, we're going to go to uh, like Reality Tree around it to grab a sapling. All right, here we are. So we're inside a game and the Fungi Farm is going to be uh, right on this spot right here. So as you can see, there it is right there. But first, we're going to go and grab ourselves a Reality Seed. So there's a bunch of way that you, ways that you can do this. You can, for example, uh, like harvest these like uh, Reality Saplings underneath me. Or we can destroy a reality pod. So uh, thankfully there's two of them here. So we're just uh, we're gonna do the experiment over here. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, here we go. So this is a reality pod right underneath me. If you destroy it, you'll find um, you'll find the reality seat inside of it. There we go. So as you can see, it spawns three. You only need one, so we're just gonna grab this one right here. Or of course, uh, like I said, if you don't find one of those, you can just harvest these fruit from the reality saplings and they uh they drop like reality seeds as well so you can grab those the drop rate is not like 100 percent. as you can see there's one right there just gonna grab these weapons just in case somebody decides to be uh cute <laughs> so now we're just gonna make our way to uh this location right here that i pinked earlier right next to greasy grove 
All right, here we are at uh, Fun Guy Farm. So there it is. So this is the spot, like I said. And you just want to go and uh, plant one of these here. So just going to plant this one here. Come on, do this. Too. Ah, didn't touch correctly. Dude, be cool. I see I'm doing something different. <laughs> All right. Let's plant it here. There it is. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that and that should complete the quest. Very easy. For this week, four season quests, essentially you have to search for uh, chests or ammo boxes in crashed IO airships. So basically these are the crashed IO airships right now. There's this one right here. Um, there's this one right here. There's another one in the middle of the map. There's one like in, inside the water. There should be one right around this area, I believe. I, f I forget where it is, but basically you just need to go to two of these, maybe at most, because you just need to find yourself three uh, chests or ammo boxes. And uh, in each of these spots, you'll find at least two. So as you can see, this is the chest right here. Just gonna open that. And you're just gonna like walk around the PY until you find the other ones. Let's see. What do we have here? Nothing here. We're just gonna go to the other side. Like I said, the spawn rate is not like 100%, so sometimes you'll find one, sometimes you'll find two. It really depends on how lucky you get. So for now, I think here we only found uh, we only found one. There, I don't see any any uh, any more. So we're just gonna may maybe swim your way to this spot, <laughs> or you can just you know use the rift in this uh, in this PUI and make your way to this spot, and then you know grab one. If you only find one here, you can just make your way to the middle of the map. You'll find the third one. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just you know search chest in these like uh, draw uh, destroyed IO airships from last season, and that should complete the quest. It's very simple. For this week 5 seasonal quests, it says you have to destroy 5 giant mushrooms with the Ripsaw uh, launcher. So this is the Ripsaw launcher as you can see, so this is the weapon. And basically there are 3 ways that you can uh, find this weapon. The first way is you can find it randomly inside chests. It's very, uh, not that common to find, but you can find it. The second way is you can drop right here in this factory, north of Logjam Lotus. And you will find inside the factory, you will find a bunch of these Ripsaw launchers, like all around. And uh, the third and final way is you can actually buy it from an NPC called Evie, and Evie spawns right here. So you can go here and uh, you know buy the uh, buy the weapon from her. But your only problem is that uh, after you get it from here or here, is that you need to make your way all the way to Reality Falls right around this area, because this is where you will find all of these like giant mushrooms, as you can see. Uh, they're kind of all around the map, but sometimes they're not. So basically, you, you want to come here to find them, and then once you do, just grab this. And then we're gonna just charge it and destroy these mushrooms. As you can see. So you need to destroy 8 mushrooms, which is very easy to do. Of course, if somebody doesn't interfere with your, uh, <laughs> with your mushroom extinguishing. And yeah, that's the basic idea. <laughs> As you can see, it's very simple to do. Uh, I guess the only problem is finding the actual weapon. Once you do, just come here, destroy the mushrooms, and that should be the quest. Very easy. For this week, five seasonal quests. Since you have to deal uh, DMR damage to opponents from above, so these are the DMR. So it's basically a sniper rifle that uses like assault rifle um, uh, bullets. So you know the basic idea is just for you to go up and deal damage like from above. Oh my god, dude, the lag. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode. It's like the best way to, do, like the best spot to do it in. Uh, just you know, go go up, like choose a high spot, and just keep dealing damage with the DMR. I believe you need to deal 500 damage with this weapon, and that should complete the quest. That's pretty much it for this week. Five seasonal quests. It says you have to collect floating rings near Reality Falls. So basically, just make your way to Reality Falls right here near the giant tree, and there should be a couple of rings floating around that you can just go through. So here we go. All right. I just need the textures to load in because I'm currently like uh, uploading a couple of videos. So come on. All right. So these are the rings right here, as you can see. Look at this beauty, dude. Does this make for a nice uh, thumbnail? I think it does. Come on, let's grab that. All right. We got one. I want to go inside again. Ah, all right, no problem. We'll go the uh, <laughs> the normal way around. Let's grab this actually. All right, so there's another one right there. So this is why I went for um, build mode because you can just build towards the rings, which makes this very very much easier. All right, the next ring is going to be up there. All right, so you see you see it. 
let me zoom onto it so we're gonna need to go uh, up the tree which is what we're gonna do because we need to climb on top of the, uh, the branch here we are and huh. okay two more so there's a couple more over there let's go to that one I see one here uh oh I almost fell <laughs> all right let's grab some more mats that's one more and the last one is gonna be all the way over there and oh and there it is so that's five out of five it's as simple as that beautiful for this week five seasonal quest it says you have to deal uh damage to opponents with a charge smg within 10 meters so you have to be really really close to opponents so let's say uh let's ping it so actually no i'm not gonna pick the weapon i just need to ping the distance so right around th like this is the maximum distance that has to be between you and the opponent so basically you just find yourself one of these um charge smgs which is the new weapon as you can see and then we're just gonna you know, find opponents i highly recommend doing this in team rumble mode uh, because that's where you can just keep spamming. There it is. Uh, basically, if you don't know the charge SMG, you need to hold. And as you can see, it charges. And then when you release, it automatically shoots like that. Like, I'm not doing anything. I just release my, my click and it automatically shoots. Or you can just, you know, half do that, as you can see. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just make sure the distance between you and the opponent is uh, around 10 meters or less than 10 meters. And that should complete the quest. For this week, five seasonal quests, it says you have to deploy a port of fork and then deal damage to opponents within 30 seconds of deploying it. So basically you deploy it, you have 30 seconds at your like at your disposal to deal as much damage as you can to opponents. So this is the port of fork right here. It's a very old item and it has been unvaulted. You can find it literally everywhere on the map. So, you know, just open chest until you find it. Once you do, you know, just uh, deploy it. And then you have 30 seconds, exactly, to deal damage to opponents. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> so yeah, I still have like a couple more seconds. There it is. So yeah, that's the basic idea, you know. You don't need to use the portal port, of course, if you wanna... If you wanna have fun with it, you can just jump on top. You know, just do that. And you can just keep spamming people, especially in um, in uh, this PY right here, Shuffle Shrines, because a lot of people are currently doing the um, the Indiana Jones quests. So you'll find a lot of people over here. And let me ping the location. There it is right here. So yeah, you can just, you know, deal damage after deploying this. Like I said, you have 30 seconds to deal damage. Once the 30 seconds are up, any other damage does not count. So make sure you do all the damage within those 30 seconds. And yeah, that's a bit pretty much it. Just do that and that should complete the quest. For this week, five seasonal quests, essentially you have to collect a portal fork and a ripsaw launcher in the same uh, in a single match. So it has to be in the same in the same like match. So to find these, it's uh, not that easy to do. But the ripsaw launcher is very easy, but the portal fork is kind of random. But it is like it has a high uh, spawn rate, so you can find it literally anywhere. So for the ripsaw launcher, there's three ways to find it. You can either find it inside chests, like randomly, or you can just come here to this top to the top of um, uh, Log Jam Lotus, like north of it. Inside this factory, you'll find a bunch of these ripsaw launchers, so you can just grab one or two, or you can just buy it from the EV NPC. You can go right here, and you'll find EV the NPC, and you can find uh, you can buy the ripsaw launcher from her. Once you do, the other quest for you will be to find a port of fort. Like I said, these are pretty random. I don't think there's an, any NPC that sells them for now. Uh, so yeah, you kind of have to be a little bit lucky, but they are really, 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 um, uh, I guess general and available and you can find them literally everywhere and a lot of people are using them and spamming them just for all time's sake so you will probably find one and yeah once you do you can just you know collect both of them as you can see and that should be the quest it's as simple as that for this week five season quest you essentially have to visit um reality falls uh um delta towers and the shuffled shrines so basically these three pois so i'm just going to start here for a very specific reason is that you can actually go inside the tree and if you go inside the tree, you can use these mushrooms, like on the branches, to literally like redeploy on top. So we're just gonna redeploy. And now we're gonna make our way to Tilted Towers. See how easy that is. So the second location is gonna be Tilted Towers, right here. There we go. And once we reach Tilted Towers, you just grab yourself a, uh, a car. And then we're just gonna, you know, drive all the way to Shuffle Shrines. This one is one of the uh, like basic uh, quests, it's very easy to do, once you know where the PYs are, 
you can just do it very very automatically so this is tilted hours right here and then we're gonna go to um this shrine here we go all right here we are so this is the um, shuffle shrine here we go so this is the newest py that's been added it's indiana jones team it's absolutely awesome so yeah that's it that's the basic idea you know just uh visit all of these three locations and that should complete the quest so this is location number one two and three beautiful for this week's six seasonal quests essentially you have to uh destroy or pop three reality seed pods so these reality seed pods are basically little like uh plants the spherical plants that are purple and you can find them basically in any of these locations right here locations where there is a reality tree symbol on top of it or of course you can go to reality falls right here and you will find a reality branch and on top of each reality branch like for example the one uh, underneath me is a reality pod so whenever you see these new like branches which are literally branching out all over the map uh you can literally just pop one of the reality pods uh, on top of it so as you can see there's two of them two over there one over here so i'm gonna try not to die and just pop three for you guys so this is it this is what it looks like let me just take a screenshot of this because this would make for a nice um thumbnail so basically you just destroy it and it pops like three reality seeds we're not going to use that because we uh we don't need that right now we're just doing the quest and i'm going to show you like two more locations here we go so as you can see there are two branches here and there are respectively two reality pods as well so you can just destroy it it's very easy to destroy and it gives you low gravity when you destroy it so you can just jump around and uh, go to the next one you gotta be really fast because a lot of people will try to kill you especially in these like pois uh but yeah that's the basic idea just do this so uh, this is where i drop right here like i said you can do it here you can do it in uh, shuffle shrines you can do it in logjam number yard you can do it in reality falls i believe there's a reality uh, uh branch right around here but yeah that's the basic idea just go looking for branches that look like this uh, basically in pois that have reality trees in them and just pop three reality pods and that should copy the quest very simple for this week's six seasonal quest it says you have to land five headshots with an assault uh rifle the hammer assault rifle so this weapon to be exact from 40 meters or above so basically you just you know get the distance between you and the opponent and you just need to land headshots which is not very easy to do as you can see whoa this guy has uh, <laughs> has got the aim dude so yeah, that's the basic idea. Make sure that um, uh, like the distance between you is 40 meters and you're above the uh, the enemy. And you need to land yourself a headshot. Come on, dude. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> ah, <laughs> he got me. So yeah, that's the basic idea. It's not easy to do. Like I said, you know, you just need to get five headshots. Uh, you can do this in Team Rumble mode. I think that's much better. You can just hide on top of a tree and keep spamming people until you land uh, five headshots. And that should be the quest. It's as simple as that. For this week's six seasonal quest, it says you have to buy an exotic weapon from a character. So basically you just want to go to this NPC right here. The NPC is called Sunbird and you can find her right on this temple behind a uh, daily bugle. And you're just going to buy the um, exotic shadow tracker. I believe that's the name of the weapon. I don't know why people are landing here. <laughs> this is so weird. Uh, so yeah, this is the NPC right here. There she is. You're just going to buy the shadow tracker instantly. Hopefully this guy is friendly. There we go. And we're going to buy this. And there it is. So this is the weapon. Let me just go here and pop it for you guys. Yeah, I knew it. I freaking knew it. All right. Here we go. So this is it. This is the weapon. You know, just buy a, an exotic weapon from a character. And that should complete the quest. Just in case this does not work, you can also go uh, right here to the Jonas's and you can... One second you can go to the jonas's right here and you will find one of the uh, jonesy npcs and you can just find uh, buy the exotic dub uh, shotgun from them just in case you don't find sunbird because uh you don't know uh, maybe you're doing this quest in the future and sunbird like has been moved from her location so yeah that's a basic idea just buy an exotic weapon and that should complete the quest very simple for this week's six seasonal quest it says you have to use a baller a zip line and a geyser in a single match so the best way to do this is to go first into uh, Wraith Cave. We're just we're not gonna enter. We're just gonna go on top of it uh, because there's ballers like inside of this like head thingy on top of the mountain. So we're just gonna ride those really really fast. Hopefully they spawn uh, here. Here we go. Just gonna enter. There's the ballers as you can see right there. So this counts as using a baller. Then we're just gonna exit. We're gonna go up. I'm gonna use this. We're gonna bounce and we're gonna go to um, reality uh, uh, falls. We're gonna go to uh, this location right here. We're gonna wanna go right over here. 
because there you're gonna find geysers and a zip line in the same location so as you as you can see we can do this like in under a minute it's very very easy here we go just gonna go through the trees and these are the geysers as you can see and there's the zip line on top so I'm just gonna use one of these geysers there we go that's a geyser used and then we're gonna use the zip line on top and oh, here we go and there it is <laughs> it's as simple as that this is like the best way to do it in my opinion and the easiest one like you can do this in under a minute and that's all three of them and yeah that's it just do that and that should be the quest for this week's six seasonal quest it's a pretty fun one it says that you have to use a grapple glove to catch a zip line while airborne so basically we, we first need a grapple glove we're gonna grab the one uh, right here there's i believe 10 locations for the grapple glove spawn locations uh, if that one is not there, you can just go um, right here to uh, this spot right here in Greasy Grove. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. There's another one right here. Just in case, you know, you don't find it or somebody already took it. Because a lot of people are going to be doing the same quest. So this is what you're going to be looking for, the grapple stops. You'll find three grapple gloves in each of these. And of course, you'll find a random weapon. This is to protect yourself. So we're just going to grab a grapple glove right here. So this is it. And we're going to go to a zip line. Actually, let me grab that correctly. Okay, so... Uh, I chose this location because there's a zipline right next to us right here and basically you need to grab the zipline while airborne so you need to be in the air and then we're just going to grab the zipline all right here we go and there we go and grab it <laughs> so it's as simple as that you just need to do that like I said like I said just use the trees you know to um to jump around so let me just wait for the uh for the uh, cooldown I don't, I don't think you can just zip to it, right? Let me try it, just in case. See? Yeah, it does not, it does not work. So, we're just going to use the tree, like I said. And you're just going to let yourself float in the air and just ADS in the air and then grab the zip line. It's very simple to do. It's a very easy trick. Just do that and that should complete the quest. For this week's six seasonal quest, it says you have to pick a mythic or legendary uh, fruit from the reality, reality saplings. So if you don't know what reality saplings, it's basically these little like trees right here. And you can find them literally everywhere, literally everywhere on the map. There's like every game you drop, there will be a hundred of these all around the map because a hundred players play and each player will have their own reality sapling planted. Now the way to do this is uh, very simple. All you have to do is just come and grab one of these reality seeds which you can actually find inside reality pods which spawn on top of these like branches right here i just destroyed like three of them for the previous quest uh basically you just plant yours so you can just plant uh, yours for here for example as you can see there it is so location mark sampling sampling planted so this will take one game to to plant uh, like logically and you literally jump into another game like you exit this game you jump into the next game and you will find your reality sapling right here as you can see right there and you're just gonna have to keep coming over and over and over and picking it over and over and over again until it spawns a legendary uh, a legendary fruit and you can just pick it or of course the other way this is like way number one or this is like solution number one solution number two is basically to go around these puys right here the ones that have reality uh trees on top of them shuffle shrines this one right here uh log jam lotus also uh sleepy shrubs right here this is going to become a, uh, a reality puy or you can go to reality falls as well and you will find a lot of these like uh, little like uh, reality saplings and you can just farm them uh, because one of them will have a, uh, a uh, legendary slash mythic fruit now it's not very easy to find so you're gonna have to uh, look go around and like pick these so for example this one right here oh one more thing if you find a an epic one like this and you find um, weeds underneath it so it's gonna be literally like three three pieces of weed you can just pick the weeds and once you pick a uh, like pick, pick the weeds it will literally upgrade the quality of the fruit so if it's an epic fruit it will become a legendary fruit if it's a legendary fruit it will become a mythic fruit so that's a uh, secret trick that you can do also like to upgrade the uh, the quality of the uh, of the fruit but yeah <laughs> that's the basic idea this is what you need to do uh, there's no real secret to it you just need to keep look looking for these like uh for these reality saplings like i said they're literally everywhere on the map everybody's planting their own like sapling and you know you just gotta be a little bit lucky or of course you can just keep farming your own sapling if you don't want to look around and you can just keep spamming games like over and over and over again until this little tree like grows up and hopefully it will give you a legendary fruit and yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that, and that should copy the quest. Very simple. For this week's six seasonal quests, it says you have to deal damage to opponents with uh, rare or better uh, assault rifles. So basically, uh, you need assault rifles that are either that are either rare, epic, legendary, or mythic. So for example, these assault rifles right here will work. 
So as you can see, I got two. You can use the combat assault rifle. You can use the hammer assault rifle. Uh, basically, if you use something like this, it will not work. It will not count if you deal damage with a, with a uh, common one. So basically, we're just going to spawn ourselves an opponent. I'm just going to grab this. And we're going to deal damage with them. There we go. Oh, actually, I used this wrong weapon. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. All right, this is the weapon. So yeah, this is the weapon that you'll be using. Or this one, of course. And yeah, that's the basic idea. I believe you need to deal a thousand damage. So the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to do it in um, in uh, team number mode. Yo, this thing shreds. So I highly recommend going to, to Team Rumble mode, just grab an Assault Rifle and just go to any upgrade bench and upgrade it. You can go to the upgrade bench right here in Sleepy Sound, you can go to the upgrade bench in Crony Crossroads in this gas station. Uh, there's a lot of them all around the main POIs, there's a lot of them in the inside the um, gas stations. So yeah, just grab an Assault Rifle, upgrade it to Rare, Epic, Mythic or Legendary and uh, just deal a thousand damage to opponents and that should copy the quest. It's as, as simple as that. So this week 7 uh, seasonal quest is a pretty special quest, it's just you have to keep the first weapon you collect up, up until there's only 20 players left. So whenever you land, so let's pretend we just landed like uh, at, at uh, uh, Sleepy sleepy Sound right here, the first weapon that you collect, like for example I'll take the heavy uh, sniper, this needs to stay with you all the way until there's only 20 players left. You can even like uh, like not even use it, you can just have it uh, as an extra weapon and you can use other weapons, like it doesn't really matter, you can just use these. As long as you don't throw away the uh, mythic, I, I really cannot resist the urge to <laughs> to kill the golden crow. So as long as you keep the uh, the mythic sniper, for example, th that's the first weapon I got. As long as you keep it and until there's only 20 players left, uh, that should work. Also, uh, don't do this in squad modes because it, it specifically says that it needs to be 20 players left. Not 20 squads, because 20 squads is literally 24 people. <laughs> like 20 times 4 people, so that, is, that does not work. So you have to do this in uh, solo mode. It's very easy to reach uh, top 20. Uh, if you want my advice, you can just do this. Just go here and hide, and then use the rift. And then after you use the rift, uh, jump into the uh, slipstream. This is the slipstream right here. The slipstream will take you all the way to Wraith Cave. You can keep uh, like uh, walking around the rails using the baller to waste time. And then you can use the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the what do you call it, launch pad, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. So you use the launch pad at the top of the mountain to take you all the way to Reality Falls and then you jump on top of the giant tree and that will give you a boost up in the air. And then you will just keep going, like, uh, like you'll always stay mobile until there's only 20 players left. That's the best, like, uh, hiding option in my opinion. This is what I do when I'm trying to record, like, some long uh, videos or stuff like that. I just take that path and nobody really can shoot you because you're always on the move and nobody really can, like, fixate on you. So yeah, I highly recommend doing that. You'll get, like, uh, top 20 really, really easy and make sure you do not throw away the first weapon you collect, okay? You can even, like, collect your, uh, your AR and just stay with that AR until there's only 20 people left. And yeah, that's it. Uh, just do that and that should be the quest. For this week's 7 seasonal quest, since you have to deal damage to airborne opponents, you need you just need to uh, like deal damage to them once, like you need to hit them once. So the best uh, idea or the best spot to do this is in team rumble mode. Because a lot of people are gonna be like spawning from the sky. Like just wait a little bit and somebody's gonna spawn from the sky. And all you have to do is just, you know, hit them once. Oh, there we go. Ah, that guy is, uh, is friendly. I see somebody there over there. So there we go. All right. So, ah, that one dropped all the way down. Come on, dude, you know you want to drop. We can just drop them down and then shoot them. I don't really need to wait. This is the worst weapon to do this. There we go. <laughs> Finally, dude. So, yeah, that's the basic idea. You just need to deal damage to them while everyone. And that should be the quest. There we go. And yeah, that's it. Let's do that. And that should be the quest. Very easy. For this week's 7 seasonal quest, it says you have to destroy objects or structures with a baller. So this is a baller right here, you can just go inside of it. You will find most ballers in the Wraith Cave location. You can find it on top of the mountain, you can find it in inside of the mountain, you can even find it at this little spot right here. There's two of them here. So you can just grab uh, like any baller, from, uh, any baller from any of those locations. And then you simply need to uh, destroy objects. I highly recommend destroying smaller objects because when you bump into something, you deal a little bit of damage to them, of course you can just boost into them and destroy them as you can see right there. And yeah, that's the basic idea, you know, you need to destroy 20 structures. So it doesn't really have to be built in my, uh, uh, like in my uh, honest opinion. So you just have to destroy them like this. Just gonna boost into it. This will take a while by the way, and you need to destroy 20, <laughs> which is ridiculous. 
I thought this was wood, but I guess it's me metallic because it's taken a while. There it is, right there. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just destroy 20 structures with the baller. I highly recommend boosting into the structures to destroy them. And that should complete the quest. For this week's seven seasonal quests, it says you have to throw three consumable pickups uh, from like a, like a single match. So basically, I highly recommend going to uh, City Sound right here. Just go to this location right here. There will be a truck that you can find a bunch of consumable inside of it. And of course, to the left of it right here. And you can find more consumables inside uh, that gas station right there. So these are the consumables right here. We're just going to open the boxes. And we're going to grab three of these. Come on, really? You're not going to pick that up? Let me destroy this. There we go. So these are the consumables right here. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. And all you have to do is just hold right click and then click left click. And it will throw them. So you need to do this in a single match. So you need to throw three of these in a single match for it to count. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just throw them and that should be the quest. For this week's seven seasonal quests, it says you have to perform an aerial 360 spin while uh, dismounting a wolf or a boar. So this is a boar right here. You can find them literally everywhere, like roaming around the map. This one I found uh, right here. So I usually find most of the animals like right around this area. Just I find them like uh, by accident. Once you find one, you can mount it by jumping on top of it. So if I jump on top of the, uh, of the board, there we go. Now we are friends. I can just exit it and, and mount again whenever I want. So the basic idea is for you to jump in the air and then 360 spin. So we're going to jump, dismount, and do this. <laughs> So it's not really the easiest thing to do. Uh, you can give it a couple of tries. So you can just, uh, I highly recommend like jumping on top of a hill and then 360 like that. And that should copy the quest. It's very, very simple to do. It's very fun to do. I highly recommend doing it in these like little hills right here. So you can just keep trying it over, over and over again. It doesn't really work that well, that well when you're on flat ground. So for example, if I do this, I dismount and I do that. It doesn't really work. See? So I highly recommend doing it from a hill like that. Like that one right here. I'm just going to go up here. I'm gonna jump. Hopefully, I don't die. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna dismount, and I'm gonna 360. And there it is. Well, I lost some HP, but that's way more than 360. So yeah, it's very simple to do. I highly recommend doing this this way. Just do it, and that should be the quest. For this week's seven uh, quest, it says you have to stop the music at Wraith Cave. So basically, this is Wraith Cave right here. This is the location. Just go to this location right here and go inside the cave itself. So if you go right here, there is a lot of like entrances to the cave, so you can just use any of those entrances. And once you're inside, you'll find a lot of yeah, like music, uh, uh, like music items. I guess you could call them that. All right, here we go. So if I go to the center of it, you'll find music playing all over. There it is, right there. So the idea is for you to destroy three, um, like three music uh, uh, items. So basically, these loudspeakers right here. We're just gonna destroy them. And it should like stop the music. If it doesn't stop it, just, you know, keep looking for boom boxes like this, just destroy them. And it should stop the music in Wraith Cave. You need to destroy three of these. I'm gonna destroy this one. Damn, this has a lot of HP. There we go. And then this is the last one right here. There it is. You heard that? So the loudspeaker went... <laughs> so yeah, that's the basic idea, you know. If, if it doesn't stop here, you can just keep following the music and you'll find another, like, boom box that you can just destroy. And yeah, just destroy three of those and that should be the quest. For this week's seven seasonal quest, it says you have to crack opponent's shield three times. So to crack an opponent's shield, basically you need to fight an opponent that has shields on them and you need to destroy all of their shields. So let's pretend this is the opponent right here. And all you have to do is just wipe them, like make them go to white health. And that should count as uh, getting them, like, uh, uh, like getting rid of their shields. So let's do that again. So I highly recommend doing this in um, uh, solo mode or squad mode, if that's for you. Because it will not work in Team Rumble mode. Team Rumble mode, everybody spawns with 100 HP, so nobody's gonna have shields on them. But you need to fight somebody who has shields on them. So the best, uh, the best course of action is to fight them when they are in solos or trios or twos or squads. Uh, but I highly recommend solos. You can just camp somewhere and just uh, you know keep watching, watching people rotating. And when you see somebody, you can just crack their shields as fast as you can. And yeah, you just need to do this three times, and that should be the quest. For this week 8 seasonal quest, it says you have to destroy 5 structures with a ripsaw launcher in one shot. So the basic idea is for you to grab the ripsaw launcher and just shoot through 5 structures and you have to destroy it in one like blade. It should be like one blade. So uh, like ripsaw launchers are very common to find but of course if you want to just find it and finish the quest like very uh, very fast. Just come to this uh, warehouse right here, right behind Logjam Lotus or Logjam Number Yard, wherever it, uh, whatever it's called right now. And you just go inside. And you'll find a bunch of the uh, logjaw, logjaw, what, what, the, what, ripsaw launchers. <laughs> I forgot the name. So as you can see, there it is right here. Let me just take a screenshot of this because you know, I don't know. You might, I might use this as a thumbnail. And uh, you, you maybe you want to do this in. Uh, oh, 
Somebody's here, I think. I need to bounce. Then I'm gonna keep expanding. Alright. So, uh, I did it, like, I'm doing it in uh, in normal mode, like, no, uh, like, build mode. So, just can farm myself five builds. Which is very easy, just destroy one tree. And then I'm just gonna uh, set them up, like, in, uh, in one uh, row. Just one more. And one more. One here. One here, I think I need one more. Let's take them. There we go. And one more here. So yeah, this is it right here. Just go on the other side. Let me actually make this a double one. Because I want this to count as best as I can. Here we go. Alright, there we go. So we have our five structures in a row. And we're just gonna throw one blade into it. And... So that's one, two, three, four, and five. There it is. Beautiful. Hey, be cool. Shoot, shoot. It's a bot, I think. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, you can do this on normal structures just like I did. Or, of course, you can do it on the, like, uh, actual, like, builds, like, uh, like in the game. So if I shoot this through, through this wall, I think there's a bunch of walls here on this side. That's one, two, three, four. Ah, the fifth one did not get destroyed. So yeah, that's the that's the problem with doing it like inside of a, inside of like a, a house. So you gotta get you gotta get a little bit lucky or find a house with multiple layers inside of it. Or you can do just like like I did, just make your own layers with wood. Make sure you use wood, not uh, not brick or metal because those th take uh, longer to destroy. So make sure you use wood, and yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Let's destroy five structures, and that should complete the quest. It's very easy. For this week 8 seasonal quest, it's just you have to make an opponent dance with a boogie bomb. So you just need to find yourself one of these, or three of these actually, because you need to make three opponents dance. And basically you just find yourself an opponent. I just saw somebody uh, gliding away here, so I'm just gonna go and make him dance, just to show you how it works. So I'm just gonna make him uh, dance. Just gonna throw the boogie bomb into the uh, into the bush, and there it is. As simple as that. Oh, he has the uh, he has the mythic. So let's make him dance again. That's the basic idea. Damn, I got their body. So I just do that three times, like the three different opponents, and that should be the quest. Very easy. For this week eight seasonal quest, it says you have to throw a fish into the water. Now the like very easiest way to do this is to go right here to this like uh, gas station in Sleepy Sound. And you don't even have to fish, you're just gonna open a freezer in the gas station. There's always a freezer here. So if I go underneath this thing, I'll find the freezer, I'm gonna open it. It usually it usually gives fish. Give ice cream. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got the, the fish. And we're just gonna take the fish and throw it in the water. Like, literally, that took, what, three seconds to do? And, of course, if you don't get fish, you can just come here. And, you know, got, find yourself, like, a fish in the uh, like in the water. Just fish one out. So, just gonna fish here. Yep, there we go. We got the fish. And then we're just gonna throw this one as well. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just do that. And that should be the quest. For this week, eight seasonal quests. It says you have to deal damage to opponents with a weapon that you fished from the water. So basically, just go to any fishing location. I highly recommend the uh, Synapse Station location, the uh, uh, like the uh, this location right here, the beach area, Loot Lake, and of course this beautiful location right here. You can just you know keep fishing around until you get yourself a weapon. This is the weapon that we got. I'm not really gonna spend time uh, fishing for the weapon. I'm already gonna do the quest tomorrow. So yeah, let's pretend that this is the weapon. Once you get it, you just keep the weapon. Don't use anything else. You don't need to deal uh, like uh, 15 damage or 100 damage or 1000 damage. You just need to touch the opponent once with the weapon. Meaning that you need to damage them once with it. And that should complete the quest. It's very easy to do. Just deal one damage to them and that's it. For this week, 8 seasonal quest, it's a pretty fun quest. It says you have to deal explosive damage while looking away. So, because cool guys don't look at explosions, you're basically gonna find yourself a grenade or a bunch of grenades. And then we're just gonna throw them at anything. So, just throw them at this structure right here. And then we're just gonna look away. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like cool like this, but, you know, in replay mode, it would look very, very cool. So, yeah, that's the basic idea. Just explode, uh, like, uh, throw some grenades of something and just look away until they explode. And that should be the quest. It's very easy.
For this week, eight seasonal quests. It's a very unique quest that I've never really heard uh, uh, of before. But basically, it says that you have to find the coolest player in the map, <laughs> which is uh, which is very easy to do. All you have to do is just find yourself a mirror and just uh, stand in, in front of it because the coolest player is you. And that's what, what they're trying to say. So uh, the current mirror that I'm in front of is right over here, right in this location in Kondo Canyon. You can just go to any toilet in any of the like main PUIs, such as Coney Crossroads, Tilted Towers, uh, Sleepy Sound. Like go into any house, go to the toilet, and you should find a uh, mirror that you can stand in front of. And yeah, just look at yourself in the mirror, and that should complete the quest. It's as simple as that. For this week, eight seasonal quests, it says you have to damage an opponent within five seconds of honking. Basically, you just need to get into a car and go to an opponent. So let's say this guy is an opponent right here, the NPC. You just get to them, you honk, and then you have five seconds to jump out of the car and they'll deal damage to them. So that's four seconds, three seconds, and then you deal damage. You can do that again. You can just honk, exit, and then deal damage to them. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that and that should be the quest. It's very easy. For this week 9 seasonal quest, it says you have to gain shields while emoting. So you can do this with a couple of ways. The first way is to use the uh, new like shield mushrooms that you can find and you can just bounce on. Basically you need to be gaining shields and emoting at the same time. So anything that gives you shields over time should work. So as you can see there's these mushrooms right here right underneath me. Of course you can do this with, co with coconuts I guess with and uh, normal mushrooms like any consumable that gives you shield over time. And while you're getting shields we're just gonna emote. So let's try it on this one. Uh, this is the exact location, just in case you don't know where it is. Uh, you can just come here. There's a lot of those mushrooms around Reality Fault. So here we are. So this is a mushroom. We're just going to bounce on it. That will give us shield over time. And then we're just going to emote. Let's do this. Oh, actually, I, I already gained the shield. Okay, let me try that again on this mushroom right here. And emote. There we go. All right. <laughs> That's much better. So yeah, that's the basic idea. It's like very simple. Just come to these mushrooms, jump on top of them, and do an emote as fast as you can. And that should complete the quest. It's very simple. For this week 9 seasonal quest, it says you have to deal damage to opponents while riding a wolf or a boar. So you can just find one of these uh, wildlife animals right here, either a boar or a wolf. You just jump on top of them and you will be able to uh, ride them. You can find them literally everywhere. Just, you know, just roam around you and find them. I can already hear somebody here. Dude, come back. Stop running away. He's there. I see him. Ooh. There it is. So as you can see, that's uh, 137 damage. You know, just need to do this uh, <laughs> over time. So I just need to keep finding animals and dealing damage. You can also just hide on top of an animal. Just keep sniping people from a bush or something. Once you deal 500 damage in total, you will complete the quest. It's very easy. For this week 9 seasonal quest, it says you have to collect seeds from reality seed pods before they stop bouncing. So you need to collect 3 of them before they stop bouncing. And the basic idea is just for you to go wherever there are uh, seed pods. So it's basically these little like uh, purple balls or purple shaped uh, plants I guess. So this, there they are right there underneath me. Uh, you can find them in any of these like PUIs that have, um, that have like the reality tree uh, in it. Right now I'm in reality falls. So basically you just come here and when you pop this little like uh, plant. It will pop three of the uh, reality seeds and basically you need to catch them before they stop bouncing. So we're just gonna destroy this one. And we need to catch this one before it stops. There we go. And come on. There we go. So that's one. This one bounced once. And that's two. And the other one shouldn't count, I think, because it's still bouncing. Let's see. Ah, it counted. Okay, pretty cool. So as you can see, I just did it in like uh, in 30 seconds. It's very easy to do. In case one of them doesn't work, you can just keep going to these like tr uh, roots and you will find them. There's one over there right here. There's one right here. And like I said, just go around these PUIs and you will find um, uh, these reality pods. Just pop them and collect the reality seed before it, it stops bouncing. And that should complete the quest. For this week 9 seasonal quest, it says you have to plant or summon a reality sapling 30 or more meters away from yourself. So that's pretty easy to do. You just need to uh, find one of these like reality seeds. You can find them literally everywhere like inside the re uh, reality pods, uh, which are the purple like uh, plants. Uh, and of course you can find them inside of these like uh, PUIs that are uh, reality based, I guess. You can find a lot of them. So basically you just grab one. Okay, here we are at the top of the tree. So, so this, this should work. Let me ping that. Let's see how far is that. That's 52, that's 48. Okay, let's throw it. Hope for the best. 
Yep, there it is. As simple as that. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just, you know, get yourself some high ground and throw it. You can also just build a like a ramp, uh, like when, you, when you're playing build mode, and just throw it like from uh, 30 meters high, and that should complete the quest. For this week 9 season quest, since you have to open chests at Tilted Towers in a single match, so you just need to go to Tilted Towers right here, which is this location in the middle of the map. Everybody knows Tilted Towers, and it's a very, very contested POI. So uh, don't think this is going to be easy, because it will not. You just need to find three chests. Uh, so we're just going to go to, I suppose, right here. And then we'll just make our way over there. So this one has three chests. Oh, four of them. Damn. Okay, so we're just going to open these right here. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Yo, I don't know if this uh, spot always has three chests. <laughs> but basically, just come here, I guess, and you'll find them. Uh, where's my location? Right here. At this football field. And of course, it's just if you don't find like three chests here, you can just roam around until you find three. Just open three of them, and that should be the quest. It's very simple. For this week nine seasonal quest, it says you have to bounce on three separate crash pads without landing. So basically, you just need to find these crash pads right here. They're very, very uh, common. You can just find them literally everywhere. I just found it like uh, on, on this uh, on this floor and this location right here. You can just open chests and find them. And basically, you just you know, we want to bounce on top of them without uh, without landing on top of all three of them. So uh, we'll do this. We'll do that. Oh, okay, I think I... Okay, I can fix that. So we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna shoot the uh, the top one. So we'll do one. We'll do two. Come on, come on. Nope. All right. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go again. And huh. And huh. And then we're gonna shoot this one. And also the third one. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Yeah, that's the basic idea, you know, you can just, you can do exactly like I did it, like that, or you can just, you know, put the third one over there, and just bounce on top of it, just bounce on top of all three of them without, uh, without landing, and that should be the quest, it's very simple. For this week 9 seasonal quest, it says you have to, uh, fully charge a charge SMG, which is this weapon right here, so basically you just need to find this, it's very common, you can just find literally in any chest, and basically you just need, like with this weapon, you just need to hold, and it'll charge, just hold click, uh, hold, uh, left click, and then when you release, it'll deal insane, amount, insane amounts of damage. So yeah, that's the basic idea. You know? Oh, I, I found somebody. I just need to damage them. Oh my god. <laughs> he got me. Well, that's the basic idea. You know, you just, you just need to hold it uh, for max charge and then you just damage an opponent to them. Just one bullet will be enough. Just do that and that should be the quest. For this week 10 quest, it says you have to damage 10 objects with one spray of the charge SMG. So this is the charge SMG as you can see. And basically you just need to find one of these weapons and just make a way to a spot where there is a lot of different items in the same room. So right now I'm on the uh, random boat that, uh, that spawns each game. So the boat spawns here. But you can do this inside a normal house. So for example, you can go to Greasy Grove and go inside of a house. Just make sure there are at least like 10 objects and a lot of like these extra clutter uh, all around. You just charge your SMG, so we're just gonna charge it, and we're just gonna do a 180 and hope to hit as much as many uh, as many uh, items or objects as possible. So we're just gonna do this. So yeah, <laughs> that's the basic idea. It's very simple. Just you just need 10 objects in the same room. So we're just gonna try it over here as well. Just gonna do this. You don't need to destroy the object, you just need to hit them once. Once you hit an object with one spray, it has to be like one spray, like in one go, uh, it will complete the quest. It's uh, literally as simple as that. This could take a while to... to, to, to so, yeah, just find a good spot with a lot of objects, deal, deal, like do a 180 with a charge SMG, and that should complete the quest. For this week 10 quest, it says you have to damage an opponent with a DMR without aiming down sight. So, uh, basically, you need to no-scope people uh, and deal 100 damage in total. So just find yourself a DMR, preferably not a common one, just, you know, upgrade it a little bit so it deals more damage. So go for maybe an epic one or a legendary one. And then you simply find yourself an opponent and you try to damage them without, without poking, which is not easy to do. And oh, there it is. <laughs> so that's what, 100, I think, damage. Let's try it again. There we go. All right, now don't scope. And just keep dealing damage with it. Don't use any other weapons. And of course, I highly recommend doing this in uh, team normal mode, so you can just, you know, sit around and just uh, watch people as they drop from the sky, and just, you know, aim and hope for the best. And yeah, that's pretty much it, that's the, that's the idea, just do that and that should be the quest. 
For this weak tank quest, since you have to damage an opponent within 10 seconds of dashing with a zero point fish, so first you need to find yourself a zero point fish, which is this, fi which is this fish right here. It's a very common fish that you can find, basically just fish around and you will find it. Uh, right now I fished in uh, Reality uh, Falls. If you want like the exact information of the fish, uh, I already uploaded a video on all the zero point fishes if you want to like go uh, uh, like and check it out and you'll know where to find them. But basically just fish around, once you find it, you just use it and then you dash like that. And once you dash, you have 10 seconds to damage an opponent. So, there you go. Ah, there it is. So, just keep damaging opponents. I, I think you need to deal uh, 100 damage in total. And just dash. We'll, we have 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna deal more damage. Like that. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just deal 100 damage after dashing with a zero point fish. And that should complete the quest. As simple as that. For this week 10 quest, it's very simple. All you have to do is just travel with a baller on water for 500 meters. So to get a baller, just come here to uh, Wraith Cave and you'll find a bunch of ballers inside. So uh, these are the ballers right here, as you can see, right there, right there. And there's a lot of them inside the cave. So just uh, this is the location right here. Once you find yourself a baller, we're just going to go to the nearest uh, body of water. So um, I suppose we'll go, we'll go here, maybe. Yeah, sure. Let's go there. It's all the way over there. And hop. Here we go. <laughs> We're just gonna take our way all the way to the uh, to the water. And we're just gonna travel there. There we go. Also remember, uh, ballers have uh, a battery on them. So once the battery is done, um, like the baller will stop working. So yeah. So <laughs> this is the basic idea. Just you know, move around the water for 500 meters. You can go down river. You can go up river. You can go whatever you want. Uh, I recommend taking this, uh, taking this like a uh, uh, route because nobody really comes here. You can just keep following the water or you can even just go to the ocean over here like outside the map and you can just move around for 500 meters until uh, the quest is completed. For this week 10 quest, since you have to eliminate a player with the first shot of the prime shotgun, meaning that the prime shotgun, which is this weapon right here, needs to be fully re fully like loaded. So you cannot shoot it while it, it has like uh, bullets drawn, I guess. So you need to uh, fully reload it. And then, of course, you just need to eliminate the player with the first shot. So uh, you need to weaken the player first. So let's uh, throw a player here. We're just going to weaken them a little bit. There we go. And then we're just going to... Uh, oh, see, now I have to reload because I need the first shot to kill them. Ah. And there it is. So just for clarity's sake, we're gonna do that again. We're just gonna spawn a player. We're gonna weaken them. There we go. And this needs to be the road. And, and there it is. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So that's the basic idea. Just find yourself this and use the first shot to eliminate the player. I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble World. It, it should be easier there. Just go around. Everybody's gonna have 100 HP. So just shoot them a little bit with the SMG. And then of course finish them off with the first shot of the Prime Shotgun. And that should be the quest. For this week 10 quest, it says you have to drop the hammer assault rifle, which is pretty funny. All you have to do is just find this uh, assault rifle right here, the hammer assault rifle. And it's just like a play on words. All you have to do is just drop it like this. It's as simple as that, you know, just find it, drop it. And that's it. <laughs> just do that and that should commit quest. For this week 10 quest, it says you have to jump on top of a crash pad, a bounce slurp mushroom and off-road tires in a single match. So you have to do this in a single match. For the first uh, two items, the off-road tires and the slurp shrooms, I highly recommend coming to Reality Falls right here. And you will find the uh, tires uh, in the gas station right here. And you will find the slurp mushrooms right where I'm standing. Right over here, as you can see. So these are the slurp mushrooms. And of course, you just, you know, just throw this. Just gonna bounce on top of this once. We're gonna bounce on top of this once more. And we're then gonna use the um, the crash pads right here. Good. And, ah, and there it is. So that's three of them. Of course, the only thing that you're going to need to find is the crash pads. They're very common to find, like very, very easy. You just, you know, walk around, open chest and you'll find them. There's a lot of them. They're very common. And like I said, you just need to do this in uh, one match, like the same the same uh, match. You need to bounce on all three of these uh, objects and that should be the quest. For this week, 11 quests, it says you have to eliminate an opponent with a junk rift. So these are the junk rifts right here. They come in two stacks and uh, they're uh, epic items. Uh, they're not really easy to find, so you just kind of be a little bit lucky to find. There's no NPC that sells them. But once you find one, just make sure to hold on to it because you need the perfect shot on, on an NPC to, uh, uh, or not an NPC, an opponent to, uh, to kill them. So I'm just going to spawn an NPC right inside of here. I'm just, just going to trap them here. And then I'm just going to throw the junk rift here. Come here, buddy. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I can't believe that works. So yeah, that was just an NPC. This was just a dumb automated NPC. Other people will not really fall for this unless you find a person that is AFK or you can just keep spamming this in Team Rumble mode. 
So let's try it again just to show you how tough it is to to hit it on somebody who is moving because you kind of need to lure them see it didn't work so yeah you just need to be a little bit lucky or a bit skillful to do this once you uh, kill, uh like eliminate an opponent with a junk rift that will complete the quest for this week 11 quests essentially you have to deal damage to an opponent with a dmr from 75 meters or more so you don't really need to deal a lot of damage just need to like hit them once you just need them to damage them once so just find yourself a dmr which is very easy to do they're very very common i highly recommend doing this in team rumble mode you just need a distance between you and the opponent that is at least 75 uh, meters so right around right around here yeah 77 meters so yeah just you know chill in uh, battle uh, not battle mode team rumble mode <laughs> and uh, you know just just keep taking shots until you hit somebody from 75 meters or more once you hit them uh th that's it that's all you have to do just do that and that should complete the quest it's very simple for this week 11 quests is that you have to eliminate three opponents with a kamehameha so by now you should uh, know that kamehamehas are part of the game and that you can find them in a lot of spots so one of the uh, places that you can find a kamehameha is these capsule corps that spawn in the island like they drop from the sky throughout the game uh, so just wait like throughout the game and you and you will uh, see them drop so you can just open them and it will give you the uh, the glider and the kamehameha right now we just need the kamehameha so that's one of the uh, ways of getting the kamehameha the other ways are to go and uh, go for the, for the dragon ball vending machines that exist all around the map there's one here there's one in the towers one in rave cave there's one in log jam you can just go uh, uh, mostly anywhere and you'll find them once you find them you can just buy it from the vending machine or the third way to get a kamehameha is to go to the bulma npc right over here at the kame house and just buy the uh, kamehameha from her uh, these are the capsules that i told you about that they, they drop like from the sky so yeah once you get the kamehameha you just find yourself an opponent so just spawn an opponent right here let's go up and then we simply eliminate them here we go it's as simple as that you get three shots with the kamehameha so make them count try to get three eliminations with three kamehamehas i guess that's your challenge if you fail you can just you know keep looking for kamehamehas and try to do it and yeah that's the basic idea just get three eliminations with the kamehameha and that should complete the quest for this week 11 quests is that you have to emote at the reality tree so in case you don't know reality tree is literally this gigantic purple tree uh, over here so this is the exact location of it if in, ca in case you don't know so just go inside of it or on top of it or next to it doesn't really matter oops i kind of messed that up let's go inside again let's go up here just for a good like screenshot you just come here and then you just emote it doesn't really matter what emote you use so i'm just going to use the uh, goku charge up emote look at that beauty dude that is so cool so yeah you just emote here and that should cover the quest it's as simple as that for this week 11 quests it says you have to land three times in a single match so the best way to do that is literally to land at reality fault so just go to the reality tree because in case you don't know, Reality Tree actually gives you a redeploy. So this is going to be landing number one right here. So this is landing number one. That's one. And then you just go to these mushrooms. And then you redeploy your glider and go to this spot right here. So this will be landing number two. Let's touch the ground. And then you simply step on top of the geyser right here and just wait for it to uh, like uh, push you up. Here we go. Come on. There it is. And then you simply land again. And yeah, so that's three landings in uh, in one game. So that's the basic idea. In case the geyser does not work, you can just try the reality tree again. In case that does not work, you can go to uh, these geysers right here. There's a lot of ways to land in this game. You can go also to the launch pad on top of uh, on top of Rave Cave. You can go to the launch pads in Loot Lake. So you get the idea. Just land three times and that should complete the quest. For this week, 11 quests, it says you have to open two supply drops, which is very easy. You know what supply drops are. You can just open them whenever they pop. Or if you want a 100% uh, like chance guaranteed, you can go to the supply ship that uh, basically uh, spawns randomly in every game. Like every game, it spawns in a different location. Right now, it spawns north of the map, north of Sleepy Sound. Every game is going to be spawning right on the edge of the map in a different location. So just look at the map until you see like the little boat right here. Just go to them because each boat will find a uh, will have a guaranteed uh, supply drop right here inside of it as you can see right here so this is one right here we we'll just open it so your next step is either to wait until the next supply drop uh drops like in the game you can just you know play the game until a supply drop shows up and you can go to it or you can just you know exit and start a new game just come to the same boat again and open the same supply drop it's as simple as that or of course you can go to team rumble mode where there are a bunch of supply drops that keep like uh like spawning but the only issue there is that other players will always go for them 
So it's a 50-50% chance. So yeah, you can uh, do any of these like uh, ways that I told you about to open the two supply drops. Once you do, you will have completed the quest. It's as simple as that. For this week 11 quests, essentially you have to damage opponent's vehicles with a charge SMG. So basically you just need to see a lot of people driving and the best place to uh, have people drive is either this spot, like Rocky Wheels right here. Because a lot of people just take these cars when they're trying to, uh, you know, bounce out. And of course some people just drive here. So you just gotta be a little bit lucky to find people driving vehicles. Once you find people driving vehicles, make sure you have a charge SMG. So you're gonna have to lurk a little bit. So make sure it's fully charged. I believe it's going to be one of the hardest quests to do, unless there's people like uh, intentionally driving. Uh, so yeah, once you charge, you just deal damage. You need to deal 500 damage in total, uh, to be exact. So yeah, once you deal, well, once you deal 500 damage with the charge SMG to opponent's vehicles, that will complete the quest. It's as simple as that. For this week 12 seasonal quest, it says you have to land at a fungi farm or groovy grove and then travel to the glow in one single match. So basically, if you don't know, the um, the glow is this area right here. It's all of this right here. So this is called the glow. And basically, you need to uh, land either at a uh, fungi farm, which is which is this right here, or you land at Groovy Grove. I highly recommend Groovy Grove because it's closer to Reality Tree, which we are gonna use to rotate out of this location and go straight to um, to the glow, which is like a, I, I've never really heard of that name, but now we know that it's called the glow. So basically this is fungi, uh, a groovy grove, not fungi farm. <laughs> so this is like a groovy grove, you just land here and then you just make your way back into the, um, uh, back to the giant tree. We're just gonna make our way over there. I'm just gonna skip ahead real quick. All right, here we are. So this is the uh, reality tree. You can just, you know, climb these uh, giant mushrooms right here and just make your way to this branch and ha. And then you just jump on top of this little mushroom and then you deploy your glider. And that will give you enough uh, momentum and you can just redeploy and make your way to the glow which is this location right here i don't know if it applies on all of this right here but uh, like on the map where like uh, all the landmarks are are marked it says that it's that location and basically this is the glow right here like the little like glowy glowing lines that you see like uh, in the water so this is probably this is probably it like this should work if you land here but just to be safe we're just gonna make our way to the exact thing because it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, let's, let's grab this boat. So as you can see, all of these like uh, glowing lines are in the water. Uh, if you don't know, these glowing lines kind of like spawn from the uh, from the zero point, which is underneath the water. I'll show it to you in a second. So this is the ping right here. This is the glow on the map. So you can just come here just to be safe, and like, that, that like should be it. And uh, if you don't know, like if you look underneath uh, the water right here, you will see the zero point. Come on. Ah, there it is. Okay. So it's right underneath me. So let's dive deep. Just gonna show you this, just in case you're curious. And oh, there it is. <laughs> you, just, you can see a glimpse of it. And let me just. There it is. So that's where the zero point right now is after it got destroyed by the Mecha Team Leader. And that should be the thing that's spawning like these little these lines right here, which go all the way to uh, the reality tree, which is uh, in return spawning all of these like reality fall, uh, like like reality uh, uh, shape, I guess, PUIs. And yeah, that's the basic idea. It was just a little tangent, but yeah, just you know, land uh, here or here, and then make your way to this location right over here, and that should complete the quest. For this week's 12 seasonal quest, it says you have to dislodge runway boulders. You need to dislodge uh, six of them. So uh, my favorite spot to do this, uh, these kind of quests, like for boulders and stuff like that, is this location right here, right next to the uh, geysers. So basically you'll find these uh, boulders right here. As you can see, there's three of them. So it's gonna be this location right here, right behind uh, Reality Falls, like west of it. So you just go to the uh, boulder and then you just simply, uh, simply pick axe like underneath it. And ah, so that's like, that dislodges it and launches it over there. And then you can just take the zip line and make your way to this boulder right here. So like I said, you need, uh, you need six in total. So that's two. Number three is over here. This spot has a bunch of these boulders. So yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a very uh, great spot like to do this uh, these kind of quests. So there's one over there. Let's go and do that. So that was three. All right. This will be in our number four. I'm gonna show you like all six locations. So just be patient. This is number four right here. Number five is gonna be right over here. Here we go. And ha, come on. 
that's number five and number six is going to be on top of the uh, of the hill over there so i'm just going to take the uh, i'm going to take the geysers just to show you the location uh because it's a, a little bit like far oh actually there's a there's a car there's a car okay well we'll use the car car works too hopefully it doesn't have the um the yellow thing on the tires like we can actually drive it yeah there we go okay so just make our way over here and you'll find boulder number six all the way over here as you can see it's gonna be next to the main py so maybe somebody will, or, will already have uh like uh this largest one so yeah you just uh, you just you know keep visiting this spot until you dislodge six boulders and that should come quest for this week 12 seasonal quest, it's that you have to collect bars in Lazy Lagoon. Basically, you just need to go to the POI, which is this right here. This is Lazy Lagoon, which is uh, the X Daily Bugle POI. You'll find a lot of like pirate uh, themed uh, houses inside here. And of course, a giant pirate ship in the middle. To collect uh, bars, basically, you just need to open chests. Just open as many chests as you can. The more you open, the more you'll get, uh, you'll get gold. So uh, like uh, each chest will give you uh, around like either 5 or 15, between 5 and 15 gold. So, you know, just need to open maybe, let's say, 15 chests, something like that. So, yeah, go around the entire map, open chests. Uh, if you're lucky, you'll find a tiny, like, mini vault. If you find a mini vault, I think that gives you 100 uh, gold, just, like, straight up. So, yeah, just collect gold by opening chests, and that should be the quest. For this week, 12 seasonal quests, it says you have to hit opponents with a two-shot shotgun. So, this is the two-shot shotgun right here. It's a very common shotgun to find. You'll find it literally everywhere. Just, you know, keep opening chests until you find one. Once you find one, you just need to deal damage to opponents with it, which is very easy. So just, let's just spawn an opponent here. And then we're simply gonna damage them with the two shot shotgun. Whoa. Alright, there it is. So I highly recommend doing this in Team Rumble mode. It's very easy to do. Just grab the uh, two shot shotgun. Just keep spawning from the air. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Alright, okay. I guess that can happen. Dude, that has, no that has not happened to me since like... Uh, uh, all the way back in chapter 2 when the sharks were uh, were first introduced. But yeah, you get the idea, you know, just grab the two-shot shotgun, deal damage to opponents, and that should be the quest. For this week, uh, 12 seasonal quest, is that you have to headshot opponents with a prime shotgun. So just find your way, the prime shot, uh, some find yourself, not your way, <laughs> this prime shotgun right here, as you can see. Uh, you can also buy uh, an epic version of it, or a rare version of it, uh, from... Uh, uh, from uh, Coney Crossroads. I almost forgot where the location is. Basically, you just go here. You'll find an NPC that sells the weapon. Unless the NPC has been moved. Of course, that can always happen. And yeah, once you have yourself the prime shotgun, you just find yourself an enemy. And then you aim for the head. As you can see, the marker will be uh, orange when you hit the head. If you hit uh, a body shot, it will be a white damage marker. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode. You can just, you know, keep spawning from the air. Once you find yourself a, uh, a uh, prime shotgun, just keep going for the head. Get five headshots and that truth could be the quest. For this week 12 seasonal quest, it says you have to deal 200 damage to players with the Ripsaw uh, Launcher. So basically, if you want a 100% chance guaranteed of, uh, of the Ripsaw Launcher, you just go here to this warehouse north of uh, Logjam uh, Lotus. And you'll find the Ripsaw Launcher inside this warehouse right here. You just go inside and you will find it hung on the, on the, uh, on the wall. So let's just destroy this. Here we go. So as you can see, there's plenty. So you could just maybe take two of these. I, I assume like you, you can. <laughs> you probably will need two to deal uh, 300 damage or 200 damage because uh, this weapon is not easy to land. As you can see, there's more all around the PUI. So yeah, once you have yourself the weapon, we're just gonna uh, you know spawn some opponents here for you. It's gonna be you know looking for opponents. You're gonna have to go look for opponents. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna do this, and then we're just gonna try to deal damage with the. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay this is AI. So. Stop. There it is. Okay, that's 60 damage. Okay, so it should be relatively easy to do if somebody, if it, like, if they move a, a little bit predictably, maybe try to aim where they are gonna be and not where they uh, actually are. And uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> try to deal uh, 200 damage with this weapon right here, and that should be the quest. For this week 12 seasonal quest, is that you have to tame uh, three wildlife in the same match. So basically, you just jump into a match and you move around until you find wildlife. Wildlife can be um, can be like either boars, uh, wolves, like uh, like stuff like that. So right now we only have those two in the game. So we're just gonna look for these animals and uh, to tame a wildlife, you can just throw them uh, some meat, and uh, you can just literally come up to them and uh, and drive them. Or of course you can just jump on top of their backs, and that will tame them. I I thought I saw a boar here, but I guess we're just gonna use this right here to locate them. I'm pretty sure I saw one. <laughs> like it's weird. Like you see them for a second, and then they kind of like wander, wander off. And you know, uh, there we go. Okay. I don't know if he got here on his own, but yeah. 
So yeah, this is the ball right here. You just jump. And you have to eat them. As you can see, he has hearts for you. And you can just keep riding uh, the board as, ma as many times as you want. You need to find three of these. So as you can see, there's one more over there. Uh, if you're wondering if there's like a guaranteed spot uh, on the map, there really isn't, to be honest. You can just, you know, um, keep looking and, you know, you need to be a little bit lucky. Uh, I highly recommend grabbing a grapple glove or uh, or one of the, uh, um, like, in the Nimbus Cloud uh, for Goku. And you can just, you know, keep uh, keep redeploying your glider, keep, like, jumping around the map. And, of course, always look for wolves or boars, and then you can just ride them. Oh, uh, that's quite lucky. I found the third one. And this is number three. <laughs> that is really, really lucky. So, this is the spot in case maybe maybe you'll get lucky as well. But, you know, like I said, it's, it's perfectly RNG. So, you just have to look around until you find them. Once you do, just, you know, tame them, and that should complete the quest. 